There he is. <laughs> what you got there? Got some uh, brand new set of 36 volt Patriot lithium batteries. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk to you today about converting my easy go golf cart to lithium. The things I've learned about along the way, things I haven't learned about, some things I had problems with, some things you need to know. I want to talk about it in this video because over the last like four or five months of owning this, I have, uh, I have uh, really researched a lot and seen the differences and a lot of things that are on the market. Um, I made another video about when I bought this thing and some things I learned, but today we're gonna talk about converting this thing to lithium. I just got it in. Uh, I've been cruising around for a while with it and let's talk about it. So this golf cart is a 2001 Easy Go. Um, it had some age on it, but it was in really good shape. I picked this cart up for about 3000 bucks I talked about it a lot in my last video. Go check that video out, the five things that I've learned about uh, owning a golf cart. And when I bought this cart, it was in really good shape. Uh, a lot of things had been done to it. It had, you know, the, the springs and everything were upgraded for, you know, having people on the back here. And I knew I was gonna have to buy batteries. When I bought it, it would basically do like one good lap around the neighborhood. Uh, and then it would start getting tired, didn't have a lot of acceleration. Um, if you put a lot of people on the cart, it'd wear down really fast. So there was issues starting out and I knew I was gonna have to buy batteries. I figured, you know, you had the lead acid batteries and then you had uh, the uh, lithium and the lithium were a lot more, but they would uh, last longer and they would charge better and they're just more efficient. So I talked to everybody under the sun about what I should get, um, whether I should go back with lead or whatever. And I had a hard time finding batteries in my hometown. I was seeing the prices online and I, it was just not tangible. A lot of the websites looked like they were like fraudulent or scamsters. I was afraid to just swipe my credit card for two grand. Um, you know, I was seeing most of the lead asset batteries about 1,000, 1,100, 900, one year warranty. And I was like, ah, I'm not really about that. And then the, 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 most of the lithium batteries had eight year, 11 year warranties. And I was like, okay, and I knew I'd like, I've been using this card a lot. I use it everywhere I go, like the neighborhood, working on some of my rental properties, taking it places. And I, I knew this was an investment that I needed to, to really make. Cause little Jack is in love with this thing. Every time he like comes out of the house, he runs, jumps on it and acts like he's driving. He's not even two yet, but he knows about the pedals. He knows about steering wheel. He knows about it all. And it's been a really good family mobile. Automobile, what do you want to call it? It's a really a good time with the family to go to and from the in-laws house and to and from the beach and places around here in the neighborhood because we have a really slow moving neighborhood and everybody in the neighborhood's got them. So I knew this was a, just a good investment for the family and we were really enjoying it. So I had to make the leap, make long-term investment. These carts are really good to put your tools on the back. I uh, pretty much just leave my tools on the back now. I got my my uh wiring stuff right here for working on the house and uh you know i throw i throw my ladder on the back here i got a little truck bed right here and uh it it, it works really good it, it it so this this old bad boy was gold when my friend bought it initially and he spray painted it turned out really good uh looks good had some interesting wheels they got a little rust on them but uh they're fun too and it's pretty sporty going around the neighborhood uh, and uh, front windshield that you can tilt down in case you want to get sassy. All right, Samantha, what do you think about All the right. uh, golf cart? It's our first uh, reno trip over there. Yeah, the real estate and golf cart. That's right. Little Jack's excited. ready. Makes uh, traveling with random items a lot easier. Yeah, it's basically like a convertible on wheels, you know, just on the front side. <laughs> it's got seat belts and it's got its little blinkers and. Uh, um, pretty much got everything. I mean, I think I'm gonna put me a little toe, toe ball right there too. Uh, my other buddy actually uh, launches the boat with his golf cart here at the boat ramp in the neighborhood. It's kind of cool. And, uh, oh, and it's got headlights. See, it's got headlights right there. Pretty much everything you know, and they're bright too. Um, just gotta get me a little reflector system for it, but you know, it's endless with what you can put on these things. I called around all over town trying to figure out how to buy the lithium batteries because I really, I'm a tangible person. I like to touch things. I like to know what I'm getting. I like to talk to somebody, but all the, the buggy places that I talk to in town, um, 
I just knew the prices they were quoting me were outrageous because I had researched them online. And like, let's say, um, you know, a 36 volt conversion kit, which this one's 36 volt, a uh, lithium conversion kit, they were wanting like, you know, if it was online for two grand, they wanted 3,600 bucks for one in the store. And I was like, I can literally copy and paste your invoice, the part number into Google, and you're, you're tearing off another 1,500 bucks on the same exact battery, same exact kit all comes together it can't be that complicated and uh, so i look at the invoice and they're charging me for two hours labor and all these things by the time i got done with it it was like 45 to five thousand bucks to have this old cart converted to lithium and i was like the voltage is the same we're just changing the batteries and then just wiring them there it comes with a wiring diagram i i was just kind of flustered about that another thing i noticed was there was more options for a 48 volt everything than there was a 36 volt. I said that in my last video, that there's just more accessories for a 48 volt than a 36 volt. And rightfully so, because you got a lot more power in a 48 volt. This one was pretty sluggish with lead acid, lead acid batteries, and I was kind of bummed about it, but uh, I'll talk about the difference later in this video. Also couldn't figure out whether to get a single battery. That was, you know, the entire kit or uh, the, the three batteries for, uh, you know, where you gotta wire them together. Because a lot of companies were selling, you know, three or four batteries, four for the 48 volt or three for the 36 volt, and then you wire them up. And I was like, so what about the single batteries? There's a lot of questions. I needed to talk to somebody while I was trying to, I just didn't have enough knowledge and the internet just wasn't giving it to me. So I watched all the videos on YouTube and uh, what I noticed was um, it wasn't that complicated and that you didn't have to pay the $5,000 to these cart companies to do it. All you're really looking at here is you're taking the old batteries out, you're putting the, the new batteries in on the same uh, battery uh, platform, you're wiring them up, which they give you the wiring diagram with the batteries. I didn't know that until I looked at the, the paperwork that came with it, how to wire them up in a tree, you know, sequentially and they fit in the exact same uh, battery tray. And then really, if you wanna get frog, you just use some ratchet straps and, and strap them down. So when I was looking for the batteries, I posted on Facebook and come to find out Fisher, my neighbor, was actually a distributor for Patriot. And he was like, I can help you out with that. And I didn't realize that he was that into golf carts. I knew he had bought an old golf cart like mine like a year or two ago and was riding around the neighborhood. But uh, he's like, I'll show you mine and we can, we can talk about how to go from there. And I was like, okay. So he pulls up and I see his cart. It was literally this cart two years ago, but now it's lifted and has 72 volts in that bad boy. <laughs> we got there. Got some uh, brand new set of 36 volt Patriot lithium batteries. Well, that's cool. Couple, couple premiums back there. New battery right here. New engine. Here, we'll open this one up real quick. Battery nuts. There it is. Sweet. This is his ride. So this is the same card as mine, but yep. what you got inside of it? Uh, 84 volt lithium with a Novatis 5 kilowatt AC power motor. Wow. And that thing can fly. And uh, he showed me his setup and we talked about it over the phone and it was pretty much what he wanted me to do was the exact same thing I was thinking about doing. So I was like, go. So as a distributor, he was able to order what, um, what I needed and answer my questions. And I will link his uh, information down below if you want to order these batteries um, he's a distributor and he will definitely help you out answer your questions um, so once I got in put the order in he came down on his cart and brought them to me and he's like dude it'll take like 20 minutes while I wire these things up I'll show you how to do it so I was like let's let's film this whole thing I want you to pick one of these up and then pick this up okay so this is one versus one so trying to pick that one up compared to picking these up is not even comparable. Super heavy, super light. 
And let me tell you, his car is something else. I mean, he's got the lift kit, he's got the big tires, the thing will go fast. I think it'll do like 40, 50 miles an hour, and it'll go 50 or 60 miles on a charge. It goes everywhere on this thing. And it really showed me what is possible. So uh, he came in, helped me wire it up, take the old batteries out. There's a huge difference in the weight of the old batteries and the new batteries. The new batteries, pretty light. The old batteries are like 50 pounds a piece. And once you get all six of those old batteries out, you're like, wow. And I'll say this, okay, putting the water in the lead acid batteries every weekend is for the birds, okay? They smell, they make noise, the, the acid comes out of the batteries and rusts out your, your, um, your battery tray, which mine was in pretty good shape, surprisingly. Um, but when we took them out, you could hear these things just sitting there hissing on the ground, okay? Like, those lead acid batteries are not cool. Does it matter, like, in the front part versus the back? What do you mean? Like, putting them in the front or the back? Mm, well, as light as they are, not really. So. But when he showed me the new lithium batteries, I was like, okay, I get it. Cleaner, smaller, now I have more room in this cart underneath there um to do whatever i want to i was thinking about putting a cooler or something inside this bad boy because it's got that much room or you want to like mount your uh your battery charger in this thing so you don't have to carry it around uh, more on that later but he just rolled up took my old batteries out cleaned up the wires put the new batteries in and uh wired them up and it came with the kit came with new cables and everything you needed to just wire this bad boy up and i was off driving it around in about 20 minutes it saved me so much money by not worrying about all these other uh these these cart places you know they were wanting you know 50 an extra 1500 two thousand dollars to do what we did in 20 minutes and uh, don't get uh don't get worried about it 36 volts 36 volts you're just wiring the the batteries together um your my uh uh lights worked off of uh the the actual 36 volt system so i didn't have to worry about rewiring that i did, wasn't running a stereo so i really didn't worry about that i just used my little bluetooth speaker and put in a cup holder it works just fine um and uh the only thing i do have to wire up yet that i have not done yet is the the battery meter i ran the wires because it came with the wires and the um the actual meter itself i just got to attach it to the battery haven't done that yet um so all in all um I, it cost me about two thousand dollars for the kit um it took us about 20 minutes to wire it together um i used ratchet straps to ratchet mine down see i just used i had these two ratchet straps just laying around and i just ratcheted them together to save money from buying an expensive harness for it. And they're not going anywhere. Uh, what I would do in the future is I'm probably gonna put these back there and strap them together and then make this like a cooler or room for something else. I'll probably mount my battery charger over there just so it's always with me. The new voltage meter will go probably gonna mount it right here and just leave that one as you can see the old one it lights up but it doesn't read lithium so let's talk about the power difference okay I was shocked at the power difference all right so my first thoughts first test run with the lithium crazy faster crazy fast like you'll you'll almost catch uh you're gonna you're gonna spin the tires almost in white grass like uh it'll set you back a little bit in the seat okay it'll set you back and uh night and day difference like the old batteries were lethargic and slow and then they would die over time whereas this one ye doggy it will get a willy okay it on slick grass, this 36 volt will spin out, okay? And I, I challenged my, my buddy next door, stop sign to stop sign, pink slips for uh, this cart versus his gas uh, Yamaha, okay? And the acceleration on it is, is crazy. 
I'm talking stop sign and stop sign. I'm not talking like getting it out on the road and then going, I'm talking get up and go to stop. And it will absolutely ski daddy. Uh, probably won't do quite 20. I don't think it'll do 20, but it'll get on down the road fast enough, faster than I want to go anywhere I got to go right now. I'm not going to take it on the road and be street legal. If it was 48 volts, uh, it'd probably do it fine. Um, but this one's just to go around the yard, the house, the camp, wherever we're taking it. Uh, it, it, uh, it's got plenty of power now with the lithium kit to load this down with three, four people or whatever I'm carrying back here in the, as I call the truck bed. And, uh, definitely, definitely worth the conversion. I was shocked at the amount of power that I got out of it. Um, even after the initial driving, I came back and was like, oh my God, charge the batteries when you get them. I didn't charge them when I got them. And uh, after riding around and really kind of getting on it for a minute, they died. Pushing it home. Wait a second, dude, hold it. Hey, where's your phone? Craig's cell phone fell on the dash. I put it in the dash hole, not thinking that it leads to nothing. Pushing it home. And when the, these lithium batteries die, the car just shuts off. There's no, uh, here it comes, we're slowing down. It just shuts off. It's got this shut off feature just to you know, make sure it's running the same voltage every time. That's why you really need the battery meter. And that's why I'm gonna hook it up. I just, when I get back to the house, charge it back in, go to the neighbor's house, come back, charge it back up. It's always charged. So it's not really going a long ways, but I definitely think it was worth the extra money for um, you get a new battery charger with the kit, you get a new, uh, you get a voltage gauge or the battery gauge, you get the wiring harness or the, uh, the battery cables, everything to wire it up. Um, and it shipped right here and, and it wasn't a lot of weight. I thought it would, they would be, you know, heavy boxes. It wasn't. So when Fisher pulled up with them, I was like, oh, wow. And yeah, just the, the world is your oyster with playing with these things. Uh, the things you want to add to them, stereo system, lights, uh, I'm probably going to put a kayak rack on the top of this bad boy just because, or paddle boy board rack, um, because the water's right here, but don't let it buffalo you. Don't let it discourage you. You can get these old carts for 2000 bucks, 3000 bucks. They've gone up a lot since COVID. Uh, everybody got them and the same cart probably at the battery shop or whatever they got them sitting out front. It's probably seven grand with old lead acid batteries in it. I got this one for three, spent two grand on some uh, lithium and I'm gonna run it until it dies. And we have a lot of fun on it. It's worth every penny. I even show houses on this bad boy. So uh, as a real estate agent, it just works. And I'm glad I got it. And another thing that I went from, uh, I got the three batteries in succession, the series instead of one big battery. Theoretically, um, if one goes bad, I can replace that one, theoretically. Um, and then, whereas the one battery, I'd have to replace the whole $2,000 battery. Or if I wanted to go up to 48 volts one day, like let's say this, this motor died on me, um, I could just buy another motor and put another battery in and get it to 48 volts. Um, probably now it's running 42 volts on a 36 volt, just because of the amount of power it's running to this bad boy. And it shows it because it's got a lot of thunder in the pedal now, let me tell you. So that's really it. Kind of downloaded my brain on this. I think I covered it all. Comment down below if you got any questions. Comment down below if you got any opinions on this or something you've done and, and, and noticed on lithium versus LED. Totally worth the up, or uh, versus lead acid, uh, acid batteries. Totally worth the upgrade, totally worth the extra money. Um, I just wish there was more information out there and that's why I wanted to make this video. It, it's an easy conversion. Don't let it spook you. Um, don't get scared from some of these cart companies because they got to make their profit too. Um, but I just thought, you know, 1500 bucks extra for the markup of selling me the batteries that he ordered from the same exact company I'd be ordering them from was a little crazy. Um, I, you know, Fisher was able to get me a good deal and I couldn't complain with that. And he helped me 100% did everything that he said he would do and it was just a good guy um so down below is his information if you want to order and that's pretty much it
The last thing I really got to figure out is what to do with these old lead acid batteries. Like I'm gonna try to take them to the dump. Comment down below if you know where I can take them. I don't really want to pay for the core charges on them, um, but uh, we'll see. They're, they're heavy and they're big and they're just sitting over there. Now I got to get rid of them. They're kind of like hazardous waste, you know. But I try not to ramble. I'm just trying to download everything I've learned about these. Um, they're simple to work on. Uh, basic tools. Um, just. You just clean up the wire and clean them up the best you can label your stuff uh take a picture of what what it looked like before and then what it looked like after and in case you mess up the uh, wiring order or the schematics or where a bolt goes and uh just have fun with these things they're they're a lot of fun to just make your your yours pretty much and uh uh sometimes they're just sitting in the back of people's garage with you know all lonely and everything so that's it talk to you guys later and I hope you buy one too. Um, I've enjoyed it. See you later.